Welcome new and old friends to my art channel. Let's play with some paint today. Let's do a scoop and drag painting that blew my mind. So check it out. So the first color is gonna be a custom color. I mixed fire dot pigments, pearl black and indigo river together to create this deep dark violet. I have a code in the description box if you want to save some bucks on that stuff. It's very affordable mica pigments. Speaking of pretty colors, this is Aphrodite. It's a little piggy. And the next one is a piggy as well. It's Athena. Beautiful rose gold. More gold than rose in the end. Beautiful. To complement those colors, this is ball gown, also by this little piggy. It's an interference gold. And this is the star of today's show. This is Pretentious. It's a SUP. You can get it at the Fluid Art Co. It's a chameleon pigment and it shifts from a, oh my God, it's it looks purple now, leaning towards blue and green, but also it goes back to pink and rose. It's amazing. And you see how little I have mixed up. So that stuff is pretty expensive, but it's a chameleon pigment and that stuff is expensive. Also, you don't need a lot. I will just highlight some spots. I don't want it to be super kitschy, which sometimes happens if you use too much bling. Anyway, this is pretentious and you can get it at the Fluid Art Co. All the colors that I just showed you will be hidden underneath a solid layer of this color. It's a mix of Amsterdam's Oxide Black and Golden Heavy Body Diox Purple. I've got two cell activators, one in Titanium White and the other one is Blue Turquoise. The bottle of Australian Floatrol that I opened freshly is super thin and I don't know why. It is what it is, it still works, so it's a little bit thinner than usual. So like I mentioned before, I want to cover up my pigments with my purple. I just drizzle my sparkly paints underneath and the idea behind is to, to reveal them with a scoop and drag. So I start with a ball gown and work my way up with Athena, Aphrodite and my custom purple. At this point I'm not 100% sure if Aphrodite is not... I wanted to use that as kind of the accent color, the shocker, but it might be shocking too much. We'll see. is covering the whole thing up with my dark purple color. I use the spreader to make sure the layer will be evenly spread out and um, not too thick. I only have to worry about the middle of the canvas really because as you know we will spin and that'll help me cover the whole canvas with the purple. Okay, now we're gonna paint on that. 
At first, I do a swipe with Pretentious on my palette knife and no cell activator. I'm just curious how it reacts on a solid color. So that white trail there is not because I dug into the pillow paint, it's because my palette knife was not clean. I thought it was just purple, but no, underneath that purple, on top of my palette knife was a little bit of white. So a great tip, always check your palette knives for pillow paint. Let's start loading our palette knife. So the first color is my blue turquoise cell activator followed by the white one. This is Boom Gel in black. I love to use that right behind my cell activator because it frames it a little bit. And this is my pretentious see how it looks green and blue and then purple it's nuts move it around a little bit and then I'll swipe a little and I will keep doing this and do a little bit of a hopping here and there to add some color and also to reveal some color. The reveal mostly happens with the scoop and drag. I barely touch the surface when I do this. So in the first swipe you can see in the middle there's almost white. That's because I went deeper into the pillow. The last one I did is darker because I didn't touch the pillow underneath. Okay guys, watch me play. This is a fun one. Let me know what you think about Aphrodite. Is that, should I have not? Or is it crazy in a good way? Before I forget, and in a few weeks I will stop doing this, but if you would like to learn how to do this, if you want to spend a fun few days with all of us and learn and paint and have fun, go check out the Fluid Art Experience and book yourself some classes. Okay, let's do some scoop and drags and I'll see you in the end for the close-up.
this method is just so much fun and so interesting to look at you always get it like a spacey mysterious galaxy feel with so much depth and movement i'm a big fan tune in on sunday the 23rd when all the teachers of the fluid art experience will create a piece that they will bring to the event in dallas this november so if you want to meet them all sunday 23rd okay until then be good bye, -bye.